Hey guys, good morning from Washington, D.C. We are on our way to the district courthouse where Peter Navarro, Donald Trump's aide, is on trial for contempt of Congress and where the sentencing of uh, Tario, who's like one of the Proud Boys, is going to take place today. That's That's one of the C-32s they use as a backup Air Force One and Air Force Two. I'm not sure where he's going today. In the clouds. Hey guys, yeah, we're back. It is, uh, that's the afternoon. There's not a lot going on most of the day. We uh, tried to cover the trial of the January 6th guy, Atario, but uh, the judge got sick. So we didn't get any footage of them going in or out or any of their lawyers, because, well, there just wasn't anything this film. So we'll be back there next week when they have the postponed trial. We got the fighter jets, that was cool. Now we're on a bike down in Georgetown, heading over towards the White House. Uh, we don't really have much of an agenda other than french fries, so let's just kind of explore, play in traffic, and see what happens, yeah? So we're back behind George Washington University Hospital. The emergency room is up on that land, but we have actually have seen cases of people driving up to the loading docks and just dropping off people people that have been stabbed or shot elsewhere in the city and they don't want to have to fill out all the reports but they want their friend to get medical care so they just drop them at the back Ooh, there's some sort of like street thing going on here at gw some sort of like market welcome back students kind of thing you got food all i care about is food yeah empanadas there is food here. What do we got? Quaker orchards. That looks like apples. I don't want apples. I want french fries. That's an AMR. That's the private ambulance company that has a contract from the city. Okay, let's make our way through campus. Quite a few students out today. This section of town now leasing. I just read something about this about private housing for students or like student-centered private housing is now like one of the hottest real estate markets for development and it's also a huge problem as that students are getting priced out of living accommodations near campuses you know universities have often had you know rather cheap student accommodations but those have been bought up by real estate developers and they put in private high-end apartments selling to the wealthier students or more appropriately their parents <laughs> and, uh, the poor kids, students are having a harder and harder time trying to find a place to live it's kind of a problem going on not just in the united states but even overseas scotland spain rome mm. all right that's we're at 2000 pesos. that's duke's grocery you know we haven't had a duke's burger in a while Ooh, tempting tempting we have not had duke's in a while Maybe later. Let's just go on this way. Let's go down by the White House. Um, I have credentials to go in today, but there's just nothing going on, yeah? Well, there's like a, a briefing on the hurricane, but it's closed press. It's only the pool, and it's in the Roosevelt Room, which is really, really tiny. So we're going to pass on that and just explore outside. All righty park's open, but the street is not. 
Oh, is there a motorcade here? Hmm. Lots of cruisers out here today. There is a motorcade of some sort. I see motorcycles here. It must be for they must be setting up the VP's motorcade. Playing the Chinese national anthem over there. All right, so we have the we do have a motorcade leaving. Pennsylvania is all closed up. Park Place. Well, they got a lot of police out here today. Let's go check the. Uh, let's go check the uh, mysterious brown thing down here, and we'll head back and catch the motorcade. And the brown thing is still. Is it covered up? Looks like it is. Yeah, it's still covered. Hmm. All right, the brown thing is still covered. Let's uh, swing back over to 17th Street. This motorcade's gonna come out. Pigeons. Okay, there's our brown thingy on this side. All covered up, sort of. See the generator underneath it. Someone said maybe they only deploy them at nighttime. That could be a theory I could explore further. But I mean, I have to come out here at night when all the night squirrels are running around. They're kind of sussy. <laughs> and then there's the two big ones down there. See those two brown ones there, they're not the same. One, one looks a bit different than the other. Wider, more panels, more options. Doesn't look like the ones around the other parts of the White House either. All right. Poor fellow on a blanket. Uh, that guy. We've tried to help that guy in the past. He's he's pretty off. He walks around in shorts in the middle of winter. I think the police try to help him too, but he's got some serious issues. All right, we'll cut over on this side. I think it's open. Yeah, we'll go through. Fix the bollards. And here's the brown thingy here. Not, not operational. I want to see what's under it. More than that, I want to see it when it gets fully extended. All right, are they getting ready for this motorcade or what? Vice President. Let's, oh, Vice President? Yeah. There it is. Yep. So I was in McDonald's waiting for my order and a motorcade came out. Okay, that was the Vice President heading out after her day at work. It's only about 4 o'clock, but a little bit early. Uh, looks like we got some construction blocking the road down here. 
What a mess. Uh, let's go down this way through campus again. That's the Watergate. Uh, those of you familiar with the Nixon stories, the break-in took place uh, down in the next building off to my right. The burglar's command post was over in this building on the right. That was a Howard Johnson's at the time. Then it became a George Washington University dorm. And now I think it's a private condos or something. But the break-in was all down here. So if you're watching uh, White House Plumbers on HBO, you'll see a lot of it was filmed in this neighborhood. Across the street from the Watergate is the Saudi Embassy. Embassy of Saudi Arabia. And then just over here is a small homeless camp. There were a lot more tents here last week. Uh, looks like they haven't done any mowing here in a while. Maybe that's bringing the bugs out and pushing people away. Mosquitoes are out in force right now. All right. Let's head down this road. It's actually a nice little secret back road to get onto the freeway here. Most, only the commuters in this general area know about this entrance ramp. It gets them onto the bridge. There you go. We're gonna go this way though, because we're going past the Kennedy Center. John F. Kennedy Memorial Center for the Performing Arts. There was a debate in the Washington chat group about whether you call it the JFK Center or the John the Kennedy Center or the John F. Kennedy Memorial Center. I thought it was all a little pedantic. Most people know it as just the Kennedy Center. You know what, let's just go over this bridge, yeah? Over there is Lincoln Memorial. Over there is the CIA building I've told you about. CIA still has one office in Washington, D.C. And I think it's in the original OSS offices, which are right over there. That red brick building and that stone building, I believe. Those were some of the original OSS offices. Then they became part of the CIA. And they're still used by CIA today, even though headquarters of CIA is up the river about 10 miles or so in Langley. You know, I have no idea where this road goes. Let's, let's do it. Let's just see what happens. I mean, I know where it goes as a car. I just don't know where it goes as a bike. So we're going over the Teddy Roosevelt Bridge over towards Teddy Roosevelt Island. Oh, I hope I don't lose my hat. You see, it is pretty windy. And you guys got like vertigo? Let's, let's put the camera out here a bit. Woo! Oh, pole. Right, back to center. Yeah, that sign's kind of low. I'm gonna like bang my head on it. So over here is Teddy Roosevelt Island. There's actually a presidential memorial right in the middle of it, but you gotta hike in there a bit to find it. And straight up ahead, you can just see an American flag flying. That is the Marine Corps Memorial, the Iwo Jima Memorial. They will go over there. Now look at that, they got like a walkway down there. You guys see that? Pretty cool. Walk way through the swamp. Alright, let's just keep going this way. As I said, it was an island, which means there is water on both sides. We're going to head over that direction towards Roslyn down this ramp. Hopefully it'll get us somewhere where we need to go. Maybe. Let's just go out of this bumpy part. It's not bumpy for you because I have a steady cam, but I assure you, it's pretty bumpy for me. Right, let's go over. Let's see if there's a better bike over at Teddy Roosevelt Island. 
There usually is a bike rack down here. Okay, we have made three bicycle chains, three bicycle changes in the last five minutes. I'm trying to get one that actually has a little bit of battery and some energy left. I think we're finally successful. So let's spin over here just across the river from Washington, D.C. is a very famous memorial and statue. United States Marine Corps. Okay, we finally have a bicycle that works and we are out at the Marine Corps Memorial. The Iwo Jima Memorial, as it's known to many. Listing all the major battles of the U.S. Marine Corps and showing the men, oh my, Osprey, Osprey, Osprey. There, maybe, there it is. It's a Navy Osprey. Where's he going, Pentagon? Okay. Pardon that interruption, there was an Osprey going by, V-22, we had to like film that. So here goes, there is the Iwo Jima Memorial. Most recent battles, Afghanistan and Iraq. No end dates on those, though I think they might update those pretty soon. Looks like my microphone has also died. I'm not having a good time here. All right, let's pedal back over to Washington, D.C. Not sure how much of this we're gonna be able to video because the mic seems to be dead. And I don't wanna have a bunch of wind noise. Ugh. But we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a try. Oh, stairs, stairs, uh, stairs. <laughs> okay, not ADA accessible. Bump. Ooh. Man, this is crazy. All right. So we're gonna make our way over to the Netherlands Carillon, which is a gift from the people of the Netherlands, thanking us for liberating them in World War II. They just renovated the bells about a year ago, sent them back to Amsterdam to be recast, I think, or tuned or something. Lots of pretty flowers here. Wonder where that osprey went. people of the Netherlands to the people of the United States. I guess you can go up there if you have a key. Constructed by that company in the Netherlands. There's actually a marker in here too that says something. Bells founded by Bergen Petit Fritzen in the Netherlands. So they have the name of the foundry. And of course one of the best views of Washington DC straight over here looking towards the Capitol, past memorials and all that. Really pretty place to watch the fireworks if you're ever looking for a place to go watch fireworks. Just next to Arlington Cemetery. I believe this is the Civil War section of Arlington Cemetery out here on this side. All right, let's get back up on a bridge and back into DC. Okay guys, I actually filmed a bit more, but the microphone was dogged and it just sounded awful. So we're just gonna have to end it right there. Thanks a lot for watching. We will be back tomorrow. Who knows what we'll see, but we'll keep showing you. Bye-bye.